so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl to me, Leah. If this is your first time on the channel, you're welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside this video. And if you're already a subscriber, you guys know I love you. You know how we do it. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using one cosmetic brand and I'm featuring the Beyond Beauty Cosmetics. It's a Nigerian brand. It's not a new brand on this channel. So the first thing that I did was to prime my face using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Primer. I love this primer whenever i want to have like a dewy look like i'm like as if i'm glowing from within this is the primer that i use then i use the beyond beauty hd foundation in this shade 205 it is full coverage i really love that foundation so now moving right into highlighting my face i'm using the um concealer from beyond beauty this is the shade toffee i'm just highlighting the high points of my face You guys already know me. Maybe he's always listening to music and dancing while doing makeup. So don't let the dancing <laughs> distract you. I was just having fun, guys. So, um, oh, guys, this, the brushes that I'm using in this video, in this tutorial, are also from Beyond Beauty. It was their 32 pieces brush set. It was a stippling brush that I used to apply my foundation and, like, basically to do the entire face. So I'm contouring my face now using the HD foundation from Beyond Beauty in the shade 206. This is like a shade darker than me. It is really dark guys because I am really dark. <laughs> so I use my beauty blender to further blend the um, foundation and to remove the excess because I used a bit, you know, too much more than I needed. So using a beauty blender helps you blend properly and remove excess product. So now I'm going into the Beyond Beauty powder palette it has six powders it has three cream foundations and three um highlighters the illuminator highlighters basically so i use my beauty blender to take some of the light shade of the powder to set all my highlighted areas and i'm also dusting on some of the light powder over my eyebrows to mattify them so that i can do my brows next i'm doing some reverse contouring so to do my brows, I'll be using the Beyond Beauty Eyebrow Gel. This is the brown shade. They usually have two of them in the pack. They have the black one that I usually use to line my eyes and they have the brown one, which this is actually my first time using this for my brows. It's a really, um, it's a little bit darker than I would, I usually do my brows, but it was like, it gave me, it was very precise and it was really creamy. So I liked it. So I used my brow tint to just lighten up the, the shade a bit. So now I'm priming my eyes using the same concealer that I used to highlight my face and tapping it in with a blending brush also from Beyond Beauty. So now to create like a dark base for my eyeshadow, I'm using the same brown shade of their gel liner. Then I'm taking this is this um um eyeshadow palette is also from Beyond Beauty. I'm just taking that pink shade to blend the edges of the brown base that I applied then now i'm going into that um red shade is that red or fuchsia pink just tapping it on top of the black base then giving myself an inner corner tear duct highlight then i'm taking this red glitters also from beyond beauty they have the single um individual pressed glitters i like them because you don't even need any glitter glue for them so in my waterline i'm using my ellie girl eyeshadow primer then I extended, extended it a bit downwards so that I could use it like as a base for the, the, the eyeshadow that I used to smoke out my under eye area. I used grey, then I used um, purple below the grey. So now I'm lining my eyes using the black Beyond Beauty gel liner. This particular brush is actually from Real Techniques, it's not from Beyond Beauty. So I've popped on my lashes. I think I'm using lashes from Mismetics. This should be for my Mismetics lash um, tray. And I'm just applying powder to the rest of my face, guys. Sincerely, I didn't know what look I was going for. I just knew I wanted it to be edgy and I wanted it to be dramatic. And I knew I wanted to do a lip color that, you know, <laughs> I usually don't do. So this look was not going to be, it's not wearable for days. It's just when you want that edgy look, maybe like for a shoot, you know, editorial, runway. Basically, that's what 
looks like this for you guys are you guys really my shaku shaku is that shaku shaku or zanku what, what was that dance <laughs> i know naira mali does it and i'm low-key a malian so i was just the song that was playing in the background was gang by me of course i was just dancing and feeling myself and having fun because makeup is my happy time i was in my happy place guys so i just highlighted my face using the highlighter from that same beyond beauty powder um, palette then i used some mascara in my lower lashes which are basically non-existent then non-existent i'm applying lips um lipstick now also from beyond beauty this shade is really edgy so i just had to darken the corners of the lips um to create like a kind of ombre um and i used the contour powder shade from my beyond beauty powder palette so now to set my face i'm using a glow mist from kimani cosmetics i just spray 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 happy girl yeah fan yourself <laughs> so this is the entire look guys i hope you guys like it please let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys Mwah. bye